to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. G'day everyone and welcome back to the shop. Today I'm uh, doing some steel parts for my good buddy Maddie from Maddie's Workshop. Now these parts will go together and form a winch at some stage when Maddie gets around to it. So we actually make this winch with the apprentices at the TAFE Institute where I work. So I showed it to Maddie and he was keen to make it. So I said, all right, Maddie, well, I'll give you a hand with some of the parts just to give you a bit of a kickstart. And Maddie's more than capable of making these himself manually. But anyway, I thought I'd make a good little video here today for my CNC channel. Right, so the first part here is there's two of these plates. These are steel plates, mould steel, six millimetres thick, uh, approximately 200 millimetres long by 150 millimetres wide. I'll be bringing this part into the Haas Mini Mill and it's a Haas Mini Mill number two. And you can see here I've got the table uh, drawn or modelled. I've got the fourth axis modelled. I've got the tool setter modelled and the vice modelled. Now, the reason I do this is so I can have a bit of a look. Now, it's not true crash detection, but I can just check it out while I'm doing the machining and just make sure I'm not going to smash into anything. The other thing I like to do this because the part is actually below the vice. Now, if you'd like to learn more about modelling your setups like this in your CAD software or Fusion 360, take a look at my good buddy Kevin Ellingson over in his channel. and He's made a video about making these parametrically linked in your model, okay? So first of all here with my steel plates, I'll be machining one at a time and you'll see that I'll leave a witness mark on this plate because only one of these plates need to be drilled and reamed, I believe, but I put a little spot drill hole there for Matty so he can pick it up whichever plate he decides to do. There's some other post machining he'll have to do and he'll have to machine an angle coming along here. I didn't model that because it's just going to give me grief with the, with the cam, so I just kept it as a rectangle. Right, so this is really simple, just 2D stuff here today, and we can simulate that. So I'm dropping in here with a Sutton 6mm spot drill, and just spotting those holes, and then following up with an 8mm drill bit and drilling out. Now I'm doing this in steel because I'm going to chase it up with a boring cycle with an 8 with an 8mm end mill. And the reason I'm doing this is because the plans actually call for a reamed 10 millimeter hole so i thought well why not just drop in with an end mill and it'll be that close it wouldn't be funny popping in here doing some 2d adaptive and this is with a 16 millimeter sutton end mill as well a harmony end mill and we're just taking a lick off on those steel plates so i'll follow that up now with a spring pass with a contour over the other side and I didn't worry about drilling this. I just bored it out with a 16mm. Honestly, the, the Haas did this very easily. The spindle load was only about 30 to 35%. And then once again, just chase that up with a boring cycle. All right, so let's jump in over to the Haas now and take a look at this in action. I'll try and keep the coolant turned down a little bit. I always machine with coolant. Unfortunately, the Haas doesn't have air blast. It would have been nice. I would have preferred to have done this with an air blast. But anyway, I'll uh, machine it with some coolant and you can have a look at that. All right, let's go over there now.
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I really appreciate you following along and thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.